So, um, is this your first time visiting Korea? Um, yeah, it's, it's the first time to Korea so far. I'm really, really enjoying it and it's been a great turnout today. Okay, so let's talk about your football career. Um, so, what is your most memorable match in, in your career as a Manchester City player? Um, I think it would have to be my first goal against Millwall because um, it, it meant a lot to obviously me but the fans as well as they couldn't be, they wasn't allowed to be there because they, they was banned from previous situations before. Because um, you are a very well known player as a like, quicky, speedy and dribbler. So what was your the fastest record for 100 meter running? Um, I don't know, I did it when I was younger at, at secondary school, we call it back home and um, from what I remember it was like 10-9 but in football, you never, you never have to run that quick. Well, you have to run that fast, but not over such long distance. I might have exaggerated with the 10-9, by the way. I think it's more like 11, but um, higher than 11. But yeah, I was, I was young and then just focused really on short and sharp stuff, as in 40 to 60 metres, and I think that benefited me more in a football game. Brilliant. Um, these days, the trend in football is like not to allow any spaces um, by putting pressure on an opponent. Um, so the explosive speed delivering it seems to fade away. But if you could name a player who would remind you back in your football career, that faster or right dribble. He's a lot different than me in many ways, but I feel like we had a similar idea and a way of playing, and I'd have to say Raheem Sterling, to be honest with you, the way he likes to dribble, he likes to go at people, and he likes to score score goals, and he's in a great team where he's scoring many goals and getting a lot of opportunities. So, if you compete against Raheem Sterling, who would be faster in terms of speed? And when I was 19, I'm always going to say me, but um, right now he would most probably leave me for dead. So your father is also a football legend, Ian Wright. So, did you feel any pressure from his reputation? How did it influence on you? Um, no, he, he always just brought me up and my brother up is just fo focus on making our own footsteps. People are going to say what they want to say, but at the end of the day, you create your own way in the game and that's pretty much what me and my brother did. Mm -hmm. um, you have a son, Dimarjo, who is currently playing a um, men's the, the youth team. So, same as, as you, um, now he has a father who is a football legend. <coughs> as a footballer and father, what advice would you give him? Um, the advice I told him just the other day is always play with a smile on your face. And the hardest thing in football is consistency. As long as you keep working hard, um, your talent will shine through. And just remember, just football, focus on it. Could you list up names of the best 11 players um, among your old teammates? Joe Hart, mm -hmm. Mika Richards, Les Scott Company, um, Gal Clichy, Rubinho, Yaya Torre, Silva, Ali Benabia. I'm going to put myself on the right wing. I can't leave myself out. And um, I'd have to say at the time, I think who was a key role when Manchester City first got taken over, Adebayo. Okay. So you played for Queen's Park Rangers with Ji Song Pa back in 2012. Um, how would you describe him as a, your teammate and the captain? Um, for me, he, he was a leader, not only on the pitch, but off the pitch. And he was just a great person. All, way, all the way around really and it was very helpful for the team and he showed what a leader should do within his work rate and his commitment to his teammates. When do you think Manchester City could win your first Champions League with a manager Pep Guardiola? Um, I think that's a hard competition. I feel like in that competition um, not only do you play what you have to play well all the time but I feel like you need a bit of luck and last year shown against Spurs that we should have gone through, but we were unlucky with VAR, but um, I feel like if we just concentrate on winning each game, game by game, and see where it takes us, and then hopefully we get that rubber to green where the luck swings our way. Mm -hmm. um, this is Ralph's question. Um, as a Manchester City legend, um, what is your opinion 
about the Pep Guardiola's plan to use a um, young and talented player? I think I think it's it's great for the club. I think it's great for the kids, and it's great for obviously the players that are coming through and the players that are playing. It's, it's always nice to have young, talented, fresh, fresh coming through. And then if a manager like Pep's going to do it in a club like Man City, um, it, it's great to see. And you know they'll be great when they do actually come through. The last three, could you please give the, any message to Korean football fans and? the Manchester City fans in Korea. Thank you for the support on behalf of obviously the City players that can't be here, the City staff and the fans back home that um, are glad to see that the club that they've always been supporting has become global and, and has reached to the places like Korea and hopefully the fan base here just gets bigger and bigger. So that's cool. Right. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. Right. Nice mm -hmm. one.